Hello brothers, I hope you in good health. Today we are going to help you to decide which one is the best between the latest Honda CB500X and the Kawasaki KLR650 for you to ride. So let's check this out. In terms of the chassis, the 2022 Honda CB500X built on the steel diamond frame while KLR 650 built on the tubular smile double cradle frame. Then for the suspension, the 2022 Honda CB500X gets Showa's 41mm SFFBP upside down front suspension and a prolonged monoshock with 5-stage preload adjuster. Meanwhile, KLR 650 equipped with 41mm telescopic front suspension and Unitrack monoshock with adjustable rebound, damping, and spring preload. In terms of the dimension, the 2022 CB500X has ground clearance 180mm, seat height is 830mm, curb weight is 199kg, and the wheelbase is 1445mm. While KLR650 has higher ground clearance that reach 210mm, higher seat height which is 871mm, heavier curb weight that reach 206kg, and longer wheelbase which is 1539mm. In terms of the engine, the 2022 Honda CB500X powered by 471cc DUHC inline twin 4-stroke engine with liquid coolant complete with new PGM-FI electronic fuel injection system, while KLR 650 powered by 652cc DUHC single cylinder for stroke also comes with liquid coolant as well as fuel injection system. For the engine output, Honda CB500X get maximum power 47 horsepower at 8600 rpm and maximum torque 43 newtons at 6500 rpm while KLR 650 get lower power but higher torque. KLR 650 gets 40 horsepower at 6000 rpm but maximum torque can reach 53 newtons at 4500 rpm. In addition, the 2022 Honda CB500X gets 6 speed gearbox while KLR 650 only gets 5 speed gearbox. But KLR has more fuel tank capacity that reach 23 liters, while CB500X only get 17.7 .7 liters. And CB500X is more economical, which the fuel consumption is 23.6 km per liter, while KLR 650 only reach 19.2 km per liter. Then, in terms of the safety features, the 2022 Honda CB500X equipped with dual 296mm disc brake with Nissin radial mount, two piston calipers at the front, and a single 240mm disc brake with single piston caliper at the rear, complete with ABS. While KLR 650 gets single 300mm disc brake with two piston calipers at the front, and a single 240mm disc brake with a single piston calipers at the rear, also complete with ABS. Stay healthy, brothers. Hope you enjoyed this video.